Hi, I'm Amir Hussain, Mirza Wizard, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the simulation of rolling process in Abacus. Rolling is one of the famous metal forming process and has a widespread application in the industry. As you know, Abacus has two powerful structural solvers. I mean Abacus Standard and Abacus Explicit. You can simulate the rolling process by using both of these solvers. In this video, I am going to talk about the 2D and 3D simulation of rolling process by using these structural solvers and compare the results of 2D and 3D simulation by using these solvers. This is the table of content of this video. We talk about types of rolling, Abacus capabilities in rolling simulation, steps that can be used for rolling simulation, 2D and 3D modeling of rolling process, comparing the results of 2D and 3D simulations, comparing the results of using dynamic explicit and dynamic implicit steps, and finally I talk about the conclusions. As you know, there are two kinds of rolling in the industry. Cold rolling process and hot rolling process. Generally, rolling simulation is a sophisticated issue because all of the sources of nonlinearity exist in this problem. Here, I want to talk about the sources of nonlinearity. In the rolling process, we have all of the sources of nonlinearity in the FE simulation. The workpiece has contact with rollers, so we have nonlinear boundary condition. The workpiece undergoes large deformation, so we have nonlinear geometry. The workpiece has plastic deformation. So, the nonlinear material behavior is present in the simulation. We can conclude that rolling simulation is a highly nonlinear simulation and can be so difficult. Notice that for hot rolling, even the problem is more nonlinear because both of the Mechanical and thermal domains must be solved simultaneously. According to the capability of Abacus structural solvers in solving nonlinear problems, both of the Abacus Explicit and Abacus Standard solvers can be used in rolling simulation. For cold rolling simulation, you can use both of the Abacus Explicit Solver and Abacus Standard Solver. If you want to use this solver, you must use Dynamic Explicit Step. And if you want to use Abacus Standard Solver, you must use Dynamic Implicit Step or a Static General Step. You can use a Static General Step because rolling is a quasi-static process. For hot rolling simulation, you can use both of the Abacus Explicit Solver and Abacus Standard Solver 2. Notice that if you want to simulate hot rolling simulation, it takes more physical memory of your system and the simulation takes more time to be completed. If you want to use 
this solver you must use dynamic term disp explicit step and if you want to use this solver you must use coupled temp displacement step you can use this step because rolling is a quasi static process both of these steps solve the stress field and temperature field simultaneously Rolling process can be simulated in 2D planar space or 3D space. The 3D simulation is exact, but the 2D simulation has some error because when the workpiece is deformed, it has a non-uniform deformation in the z-direction that changes the width of the workpiece. When the process is modeled in 2D space, the change in the width of the workpiece cannot be calculated. And this is the source of error in the simulation. But if you compare the results of 2D simulation and 3D simulation, you can see that the 2D simulation results are exact enough and there is no much difference between the results of 2D simulation and 3D simulation. And the results of 2D simulation are acceptable. The change of the width of the workpiece is due to the plastic deformation of it. In the Mises plasticity theory, it is assumed that in the plastic region the volume does not change and volumetric strain is zero. In the process, as the thickness of the workpiece will decrease, its width must increase according to the condition of zero volumetric strain. Here you can see the 3D model and 2D model of the rolling process. This is the result of 3D modeling of cold rolling process. Here you can see the change of width of the workpiece during the simulation. If you use 2D planar space, you cannot capture such behavior because the model is 2D planar. But if you model the process in 3D space, you can capture such phenomena. And this is more accurate. Purple and green curves are the results of 3D and 2D simulations respectively. There are some differences between the results but the total trend of both curves are similar. Here you can see that there is little difference between the results. Pink and orange curves are the results of using dynamic implicit and dynamic explicit curves respectively. There is no difference between the results. There is only some numerical noise in the result of dynamic explicit step that is normal. Here you can see the numerical noise. In most of the dynamic explicit simulations, you can see such numerical noise in the results and if you use filters for example Butterworth filter or Chepyshev filter that you can use them in the visualization module you can remove all of these numerical noise now I want to talk about the conclusions of this video both of the Abacus explicit and Abacus standard solvers can be used for rolling simulation and both of them can model the process with high accuracy. According to the change of width of the workpiece during the simulation, the 3D simulation of the process has less error in compared with the 2D simulation of the process. In the multi-stage rolling simulation, as the distortion of the elements increase during the process, 
it's better to use dynamic explicit step for using the ALE technique. By using ALE technique, because of the remeshing of the elements during the simulation, the distortion of the elements does not increase. This will lead to the more accurate results in compared with the simulation by using dynamic explicit step. In the future, I will explain the ALE technique in a separate video and I will talk about its settings and the way of using it and its limitations. You can contact me by sending message in telegram or whatsapp or sending email. We have one-on-one -on -one tutoring on any desk and whatsapp and we can make a special videos to your order and according to your project. We can perform high quality simulations for your thesis and exercises and your industrial projects. Thank you very much.